today we are going to read Deep in the Jungle, illustrated by Dan Yarkino. Louder. Deep in the Jungle. Roar. Deep in the Jungle, the mighty lion roared for the monkeys to fear him faster. It was very hot day. It was a very hot day day indeed. He reminded them that he was the ruler. I'm afraid I must eat you, he explained. If you don't obey me, the monkeys fared faster. While the animals were picking bananas for the almighty king, a man was seen romancing through the jungle. The monkey ran toward the light. Oh, very well, lion. I'll take a look. I was bored anyway. Here. So the lion slunk through the bushes. <clears throat> and Venus until he spied the man. Rawr! He, he hollered and leaped on top of the surprised man who ac accidentally looked like he would make a lovely dinner. I am the king of this jungle and I'm prepared to be eaten. Rawr! He added. Hmm, that's quite good said the man. Could you do that again? This time it's a little more fairly. The lion was confused but pleased to meet someone who knew a good roar when he heard him. The lion almost busted a gun. Beautiful, said the man. You know you are wasting your time here, lion. Come with me and I'll make you a big star. He never thought he was he was much appreciated and Clear. agreed. The animals were more than happy to be rid of him. The lion and his new friend walked through the jungle to a small railroad station where the man bought a ticket for himself and a baggage claim for the lion. I'm afraid you must ride in the luggage car, the man explained, but don't worry, it's a short trip. The lion was so excited about becoming famous, he didn't practically care. The train rattled on, rattled on and on. As he looked through the small window, the lion recognized less than less and less. He was far from the jungle. At last, the train pulled into a station. I'm afraid that I must put this leash on you, line. It's the law, you know, said the man, meaning the lion at the door. So the king of the jungle lowered his head. The man put the leash around his neck, and off they went. It was very exciting for the lion to be inside a colorful circus tent. 
the man and the lion walks up to a cage with six gold iron bars. And now I'm afraid I must put you in here, the lion said. It'll be a good carrier me for you. Trust me. So the king of the jungle lowered his head once more, walked into the cage, and the gates slammed shut. Hmm, he thought, I wonder if this is how all the big stars start out. Soon the lion fell asleep. He had a wonderful, he had wonderful dreams of long in his amazing world before kept city crowds. The people cheered wildly, threw roses, and demanded an encore. Crack! The sound of a whip woken from his, from his blissful slumber. It was the man and me. It was the man all in costume. Wake up, oh, oh boy, he demanded. It's showtime. What's the meaning of the whip? asked the lion. Sincerely, there's no need for that. I'm afraid I must use this whip. The man explained, but I don't think twice about it. Show, showbiz, you know, he cracked it a few more times just for effect, of course, and led the line out to the center ring. It was so loud, Crowded and confusing that the lion became nervous. He was about to let out a, a mighty crowd fleeting roar when Crack crack the man snapped the whip a little too close to the lion's nose. The lion backed up as the man waved his chair at him. Crack up onto the platform, demanded the man. Crack, crack. So the lion climbed up. Everyone cheered wildly, but it was not for the lion. It was for the man. Here I am doing all the work. But the lion and he is getting a little bit Please, a please. The night after night's night, this went on. And after night, the lion grew more and more tired of obeying. So he waited for his big break. Finally, approached the man. Look when me the when the law gets to perform my solo he at first I'll let out my mighty roar, then now I'll just hold on there. But first I'll let out my mighty roar then. Now just hold on there, old boy, said the man. I'm afraid you must always obey me. Show base, you know, he cracks the whip. The lion fell for a moment. Well then, I'm afraid I must teach you up. Jungle law, you know, he replied and swallowed the man up, throwing gloves right down. The lion made up his mind. He had a belly full of show business and he was going home. Good measure, he roared the loudest 
Thus, Hagen, Hagen in his tent, really, in his war effort. Then he looked, took a bow, and walked right out of the circus tent. The lion walked and walked until he came to the railroad station where he arrived with the man, who by the way was now giving him an emergency room. The lion followed the train tracks and as he did, he thought about all the animals in the jungle. He could hardly wait to get home. about to let out the lion boy when he came upon the stars and stars and said before him stood a man walking all the animals and took his with them and books. Oh look who's here said the giraffe miserably. It's that lousy lion. So sorry we can't tend your tend to your every with him at the moment. Almighty King, said the girl. The lion was hurt by the animal's harshest words. He wanted to leave, but suddenly he knew what he had to do. The lion turned to the man Sir, this is a sorry collection of animals. You have to be sure, he said. What you need is a mighty lion king of the jungle. Oh boy, said an elephant. There he goes again. Can you perform any tricks, asked the man. I can perform tricks. Can I perform tricks, my dear fellow, my specialty? This is a famous man's head. In the lion's mouth trick, he proudly replied. There is a man asked the lion to show him. I'd be delighted, said the lion. So the man stuck his head right in the lion's mouth and well, you can figure out the rest. Then the lion set all the animals free. I'm afraid I owe you an apology, said to he said to everyone and then silly pride and all. And from that thing on the lion never worried at anyone ever again. Except of course when he was giving a concert. The animals cheered wildly. Two roses and demanded encores. The lion was only too happy to oblige. So biz, you know. Well, that is the end of our story today. Bye, subscriber.